I know exactly what you're thinking. Tim, you only bought two games at Gen Con, that's it? Out of all the games you talked about, why did you only buy two? Well, I can't explain. Okay, let me answer this first question. Why am I in a forest? Well, we actually are on a camping trip and hopefully you can hear the audio okay because the closer I get to this river, the louder it gets. But we're on a camping trip and I figured this would be the best spot to A, do some nature shots finally outside of the studio. Right now, I am literally in my element in nature and it gives me so many ideas to just kind of be refreshed, rejuvenated, recovered from everything that is in the studio. Not that I'm tired of the studio, but it's just a nice change of pace. And B, I figured it'd be fun to talk about the two games, only two games that I ended up getting at Gen Con. So let's find a quick bench real quick where we can unbox these games, shall we? So there are three reasons why I only ended up getting two games at Gen Con. First reason is a lot of you who came by and said hi. By the way, all of you were amazing and it was so nice to meet so many of you. But you might have seen me fumbling around with my gear a lot throughout the entire con because I had like two cameras and my backpack and stuff, which by the way, my shoulders are wrecked still from Gen Con. Very, very bad decision on the way I packed gear. But I was fumbling around with my gear a lot. So it was hard for me, if even if I were to buy a game, to like carry it around the rest of the day because I drove in like 30 minutes away from my hotel. So I couldn't just like drop it off from across the street where I was staying. So because it was last minute booking, I didn't have a close place to drop off that, uh, all the games that I did want to buy or put it in my car because I don't want to keep it in the car either. Second reason was I couldn't actually fit any more games in my luggage. And even if I were to fit more games in there, I would end up having to buy a second luggage, which I wasn't totally opposed to if I had enough games to fill up the luggage. And now kind of thinking back retrospectively, I probably would have and should have fit more games in a second luggage and just bought a second one to begin with. So that was a little bit of a regret that I made. And the third and final reason before we unbox these two games is that I made such a large dent to my shelf of shame that I didn't want to overdo it and bring in more games when I'm just about to finish it before I ended up buying a whole bunch more games too. So with that in mind, I think I did pretty well with these two games. They are, well, the first one is one I've been talking about for quite some time, Creature Comforts. Okay, I've been talking about this game for quite some time now and I finally pulled the trigger and got this game. I also met the team over there and they were such incredibly nice people. So Creature Comforts, if you don't know, is a worker placement game. Very, very lighthearted theme. You can tell by the box art. Also got to see a glimpse of Maple Valley too, which I don't know if it's like a direct successor to Creature Comforts, but I know Maple Valley is like the lighter version and it is going to be a crowdfunding game that's coming out later this year. Oh, I'll finally look at that. In the rule book, it literally says the village of Maple Valley. How fitting for the second title coming out soon. Now I couldn't find a direct answer to this, but if any of you know, please let me know in the comments below. But I really wanted the Kickstarter version of this. I just think that the base version can be upgraded and I don't know if there are differences between, because I saw like these meeples are like upgrades. Like these are already screen printed and I feel like this is like the best it can be. But maybe, maybe the resources like this are upgraded instead. So I definitely want to pick those up. Hopefully I can find them online somewhere. But other than that, we've got some standard dice in the box. We have some colored dice as well. And these dice, I think, are being used uh, at specific locations and you can only visit them depending on what's shown on the dice. Oh, we've got the nice linen cards too. We got some bread, more bread, some soup. That's the main reason why I picked up Creature Comforts because of the theme alone and its worker placement. I just knew that this is going to be a big hit for like my entire gaming group. They're gonna love like this artwork and everything. On top of that, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. So many people have been raving about this one. Amy and Maggie were talking about how this is like a really cozy game. And I need that going into the fall. Also got some more rectangle cards here. We have a moose. We've got a bunch of different critters here. The American beaver, black bear, the gray wolf. There we go. Skunk, a loon, a turtle and a ton of other amazing looking creatures. I just absolutely love the artwork in this game. I'm so excited to play this game. Now, next up, these must be the locations, like Meadow Summer. We've got Forest Summer. Just look at how beautiful these rectangle cards are. Like, doesn't that make you want to play 
and how fitting it is for us to be in a forest unboxing this nature themed game. Got a couple more things. We got some cardboard punch outs. I think these right here are offered as a wooden version. So all of the resources, apples, wood, rocks, mushrooms, yarn, band-aids. If I knew how to play this game and if it was fast to pick up, I would probably play it tonight with everyone at the campground. And here is the, it seems like every time I talk, there's like this cricket or whatever that bug is that like makes chirping sounds. But this is the main board. Look at that, stunning, absolutely stunning. And the last thing in this beautiful box, ooh, I am a sucker for stuff like this, thick, cardboard boards. If this one board doesn't define cozy, I don't know what does. If you have played Creature Comforts, let me know what you all think about it down below. This is our campsite. Actually, my dad actually builds camper vans and he has a whole entire YouTube channel about it. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in what my dad does. He does some really amazing stuff. But we have a quick break and I figured this would be the best time to talk about what's in here. Just look at this landscape. So freaking beautiful. But anyways, Grinchy Comforts was a game that I wanted to get and was for sure on my list for Gen Con. It was an absolute must, must get game over there. If it was one game I was gonna leave it with, it was that. The second game that I didn't end up buying at all was actually Bitoku. And the reason why was because it didn't fit in my suitcase. Let me go ahead and crank up the ISO a little bit. But the one, the other one in my bag that I did end up buying was completely unplanned. Let me show you. This, this next game, I have to explain a little bit. Let me show you some clips about the game that I played with Bonds. Bonds, I'm sorry for what I'm, I'm about to do right now. No, don't film. Don't, don't film. No. Go! Oh! Ouch. <laughs> there then? No. No, go ahead. We're good. Okay. I mean, I'm a final move here. All right. Oh, so dirty. I didn't even know that was coming. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, if you are not following Bonzinator on Twitch and all of her other platforms, you need to because she is one of the most hilarious, funniest people. And on top of that, she's just a great, fantastic person. We ended up hanging out in the beginning of Gen Con, or sorry, the beginning of the last day of Gen Con. And she introduced me to the game that you just saw, saw, which was Shobu. This game is so freaking fun and it is one of the best travel games too on top of that. It doesn't go to the complexity of where chess does. It's like in between chess and checkers for me, just in terms of like the abstractness of this game. So Shobu, for those that don't know, is a title that I would not have picked up on my own. I. Uh, as many of you know, pick up very big box games with a lot of narrative, a lot of theme. This one, completely abstract. So how Shobu works is that there are a bunch of these wooden boards. If I can get them out of the box. There are two sets of two different colored boards. There's going to be one light one and one dark one on either side of the board, on either side of the player. And then it's going to be separated by a rope just like this. And then there are a bunch of rocks that goes onto each side of the board. Okay, this game is really simple. You either choose to be black or white. And your goal is to push off the other player's colors off of one single board. Once you do that, you win. And how it works is you're going to move a number of spaces in any direction of one color. So let's say I move this piece right here up two spaces forward just like that. That means I also have to move the mirror so like this board right here, if I start on the light board, then I have to go to the dark board on the other side and then move any of these stones in the exact same direction in the same number of spaces. So if I move this vertical two spaces up, then I also have to move this one over here two spaces up as well. From there, white is gonna do the same thing. So let's say white is going to move diagonal in this direction on the dark board, then they can also do this and push my stone off just like that. So really simple game, but it's incredibly fun and it's so thinky for it being an abstract game too. Now, obviously I would want this production and to support this company by buying a copy, but you can actually, you think about it, you can play this in nature. You can take some rocks, take some twigs, and then play in a quadrant just like this. It'd be really, really fun. That's it, that's my mini Gen Con haul, literally two games, Creature Comforts and Shobu for the ones that I purchased myself. So I hope you all enjoyed this really mini random unboxing in the middle of nowhere. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to cook some dinner now, so I'll do some B-roll of that at the very end, but I'll see you all very, very soon.